you know, reverb and delay. Let's just explain the difference between reverb and delay. Reverb, you'll hear it in this room. Many little echoes. Hear them? That's reverb. Yeah, well, when you're in the bathroom and go, hello, it rings. That's reverb. You know, delay is, but da, uh, 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 uh. like you go to a cavern and you go, hello, and it goes, hello, hello. That's a definite delay. The thing that you need the reverb for is when we record and we put the mic right up close to the instruments, we're close micing the instruments and we're eliminating the sound of the room. Now what you have to do when you mix is you have to put the room back in the sound because we've taken the room out of the sound. Every room has a specific sound, like we've talked about go talk in the bedroom, talk in the kitchen, talk in the bathroom, and you'll get three different tonal qualities of your voice because of the size of the room, the walls and the ceilings and the floor and whatever stuff is in the room to either eat up highs or, or reflect highs or whatever. So there'll be a different sound. So every room has what's called a room tone. Every room. And when you're doing film and sound effects, the first thing you do is get a bunch of ambiences, indoor ambiences and outdoor ambiences, so that if you're in a small room, you want a small room ambience. And you put that ambience on a track, and it ends up being a room tone, so that you can add it's almost like adding noise, it's not noise, but it's a room tone to your signal just to give it reality. And your reverb will do that also. Your reverb on a vocal or something will give it the feeling of singing in a room. And then what we do is a lot of times we use the reverb as an effect. So now all of a sudden it's more than just putting the room back in the sound, it has an effect. Reverb, many small echoes. The delay is distinct, delayed sounds. Okay.